Here are the top working glitches and exploits for Sea of Thieves in 2024. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited amounts of fire and blunderbomb ammunition. And the way this works is stupidly simple. All we need to do is get some of the fire bombs or the blunder bombs in our inventory. And then we need to go over to a cannon. And then all you need to do is start to throw one of either two of those items, but don't actually let go. And at the same time, you're going to hold the reload on your cannon. Now, just before the reload completes, you are then going to throw one of the two items. And what will happen is the item will go ahead and throw just like normal. However, it will also duplicate inside of the cannon thus giving you unlimited ammunition and this will come very handy in pve or pvp situations next i'm going to show you a terrific ladder glitch that you can use on any ship and the idea is it will fling you whichever way the ladders are facing now all you need to do is stand halfway up these stairs and double tap the climb ladder button now for everybody it's different for me it's the e key now, when you do that and you get it just in the sweet spot, it will fling you all the way across the ocean. And it does get you quite far. If you do it on the other side, it'll fling you in that direction. There's also a similar mechanic that you can use at one of the Sovereign Camps. Now, all you need to do is normally at one of the bigger trading outposts, you look for this structure, and then at the far back, you'll see this lift. Now, if we have a quick look up, what you want to do is stand just underneath this beam here, around about halfway up before it meets the very tippy top. Activate the lever and then go and stand back in that position. Now, once you do hit that corner, it will be a 50-50 ride. Whether or not you'll go far is all down to how perfectly you hit that corner. It will nonetheless fling you out into the ocean. It's a bit of fun, and I just thought I'd include it in today's video. But sometimes you do go very, very far indeed. Next up, I'm going to show you a wonderful exploit where you can go ahead and get loads of chests and items and skulls very, very quickly. All we need to do, first of all, is go over to Fool's Lagoon. Now, once you're at your destination, you want to pack your ship just a little bit further away. Not so much on the shoreline as such, still kind of in the sea. The next thing you're going to do is go to the island and start looting it for everything. And you'll see captains spawn and everything else. So take care of them and then loot the entire island. Take it back to your ship. Don't leave anything on the island itself. And then you want to go ahead and do one of two things. Either go and meet David Jones or go ahead and swim out into sea until you reach a mermaid. Once you've gone ahead and done that and you're back on your ship, go ahead and go right back onto the island. You'll notice straight away that new NPCs of a different type have spawned as well as trinkets on the island all fully respawned. So go ahead and do the same thing. Just clear out the island, take anything back over to your ship and then rinse and repeat. After around about 5 or 10 minutes, you'll start getting a lot of different items on your ship, which you can go ahead and sell. Now, if you are looking for the ultimate exploit for getting wealthy very, very quickly, getting tons of chests, tons of skulls, tons of items, then what you want to do is go on safer seas. And the reason for that is very simple. Nobody is going to stop you from doing this. So what you want to do, first of all, is mark on the map, plunder outposts, and then these two fortresses. Once you do that, make your way down to Old Brinestone Fortress. This is going to be our starting point. Now, you want to position your ship directly at its front gate, the one where when we complete the fortress, you get all the loot. It'll be the easiest way to get everything off the island. I recommend taking a pistol with you as it's by far the quickest and easiest method of dispatching the NPCs. One shot, one kill. Also, take your sword for instant backup, but there are plenty of ammunition points if you're running short. Whilst you're going through the waves of the NPC ghostlies, make sure you go ahead and find the fortress storeroom key. This will become very important once you finish all the rounds. So make sure you put it down on the ground and you can find it after you've gone ahead and killed the captain. Once the captain's been dealt with, he will drop the fortress treasury key. Fantastic. So first of all, we're going to take the storeroom key, seeing as that's located at the very tippy top of the fortress itself, and go and get all of its juicy loot. Once inside the storeroom, everything that's not nailed down, you're going to take it directly to the front of the fortress on this wall. 
Next, you're going to take the key that the captain dropped and you're going to open up this door in the basement, which will unlock the treasury. Now, you can see we have lots of items inside here, but there is something first we need to do. We need to go ahead and open up this gate. Once you do that, again, start picking up everything that isn't nailed down, run through the gate, and then you're going to place everything on the same wall where all of our other items are located. Then all you do is use your grappling hook on your boat and then pull them all aboard. It's as easy as that. And from that one run, we got lots of chests, skulls, and crates. However, this is where the exploit kicks in because we are not only going to hit one fortress, we are going to hit two. And the way that this is going to work is by the time you sail over to the additional fortress, do exactly the same run. So now you know the setup and the way that we're going to do this. By the time you've done that and come back, this star in fortress will have completely reset and allowing you to do everything all over again, having unlimited amounts of items. And you can do this as many times as you want. So that's one rotation done so far. But now let's go back to the original fortress and see what happens. We are greeted straight away with Ghostlands, which is a very good sign. It means everything's reset. We was away just long enough, so then we are able to do this repeatedly. So let's get everything done, and let's get everything then onto our ship. Just remember, you can do this as many times as you want, but once you've stopped having fun, make your way over to the outpost that we marked on the map earlier. Once you do that, start selling everything. This uh, may take me a while. Fantastic, this is the last item to be sold, which is this wonderful skull. As you can see, things are still being counted in the background because there is now a slight bit of delay because of the sheer amount of items I have put within virtually every store that will take them. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the top working glitches and exploits for Sea of Thieves 2024. Let me know in the comments section down below, did you know any of these glitches and exploits? Are you going to try some yourself in your next game? Game. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.